Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkwood. Well, 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 the game is somewhat closing in. Um, I don't know how long it'll take, but uh, I'm gonna try my best to make this episode the second to last if I can. Because there is not much left to do on this map. Last time we only kinda were just chilling on the map, figuring out the different locations. We got around a lot. What I want to do today, and I have to hurry, not with the recording or anything, but in the game because of the time limitation. I want to check out this uh, fire that we saw last time. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna try and find stuff in between here, maybe, and then go up to the cottage if I can. And I hope that's gonna serve us for the first day. Second day, I want to have this general area just done and explored. And maybe the, on the third day, go up here and maybe find the elephants as well. Good, the trader is still there, the three. Yeah, last time we got done with the cooking, there's nothing we can do. The syringe is empty, we don't have any, any n amount of XP. To, to get. We crafted a second shovel last time, just so we have it. And I guess, let us head up north to the fire. With not much time wasted, hopefully. Still have so much in here. Okay, the shovels are good. Let's head up and see what this fire is about. Wherever that is. We should hear it quite, quite soon. That's a dog. Come on then. You wanted it. Okay, what's happening here? That's savages. You're not hitting me. No. Was it the only one? What's this fire about? Are they trying to burn down something? Well, let's set up. There is nothing. There is a bear trap. I'm gonna take that. Like, top left. Still don't know what that thing is. This like circle. We are inside of it? Oh, probably those mushrooms. Yeah, they are kind of forming a circle. Okay then. Gonna leave it at that. And head up north. Let's see if we can find some more things. Oh! Didn't even see you there. Stop that. Stop that, I tell ya. Alright. What is this? I don't like that. Where am I? Where am I? Don't like this music. Tractor. Is this... flowers? What is that? Where am I? Old shed. Oh, we've been here last time. But what is that? What is this about? We've been in here, yeah. We've been in here. He commented on the, on the flowers too. Rusty Barrow. Oh yeah, I looked at that too. Dig. I'm gonna dig with this one. Because the other one is for fighting. Corpse. Wait, what? Why is this one? Oh, underground key. Key to tunnel number 21. Another one. I don't think it's of any use. What? No way. 
No, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that. I need to go north. I need to go to the cottage. I still don't know if I've been there or not. Come on, hurry. Oh, I thought he's gonna use the shovel that is equipped. That's kinda bad. Cottage, okay. Whoa. What do we have here? Sawmill, what? Oh. Oh, I'm straying from the path. That's bad. Wood logs. Are those like mine carts? Or... I don't know what they are called, but you know what I mean. So I'm too far to the left. I need to go back to the right. See if I can find the cottage. This is like the main goal for day one today. Maybe. How do I get up there? I can't go up anywhere. And I almost passed it. Up here? Oh. What is that? Mushrooms. I'm gonna take those even though I don't need them anymore. Swamper. Oh, what is this? Is that an entrance? No. What? What is this for? Fish. Harvest. What? Fish. Huh? Fish. What are those for? Why can't I fish here? Cottage near the junkyard. Yeah, but... Can I actually find some sort of co... Who are you? Are you? Oh no. I think I found it. I'm here. Trapped. I'm here. Trapped. I hear... I hear her. Hear her. Cut me loose. Please. Please. Okay. That's a gigantic snail. Should I get close to it? Organic cord. Some kind of organic cords. They're slowly pulsating. They're surprisingly hard and durable. Why? The window's blocked by rubble. I must find a different way inside. Shovel. No way! A whole shovel? Damn, dude. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, that's cracked. The shell is cracked. Maybe I should break it open. Maybe I should. Oh, belly. The roof beneath the shell is completely destroyed. The snail's shell is probably also badly damaged. Maybe I could... I would be able to get inside the cottage through the skin on its belly. It seems quite frail. Snail talk? Ugh! Who are you? The snail's speech is extremely slow and slurred. He moves his jaw with great effort. It looks like it's about to fall off. His eyes sag from their sockets. They dangle from side to side, trying to keep me in their sight. Why are you disturbing my force at rest? His right eye raises with great effort and wobbles. Your face. What happened to you? The snail's jaw falls so low it almost detaches itself from the rest of the body. You scared me. You barely resemble a human. You should cover yourself. Suddenly, I feel a subtle shiver beneath my feet. The snail's body livens up. Quiet. Hear that? Do you hear that voice? The snail tucks his head inside his shell. She calls to me. Can you hear it? 
The snail falls silent for a longer moment. The snail... The, insi the inside of the shell is almost completely silent. She's calling me. And I'm here, trapped. Bound. The snail's body suddenly leans forward. The wooden construction of the cottage creaks under his huge bulk. I barely keep my balance. Cut me loose, please. I need to... Get out of here. If you release me, I will leave. Come back tomorrow, and I won't be here anymore. You can live in my home. You'll like it. You just need to cut me loose. The snail falls silent. His enormous head slowly drops to the shell. Giant, gleaming drops of muckus appear on his slimy skin. You need to understand my predicament. I am unable to do anything by myself. My legs are numb from lying here. I can't feel my arms at all. I admit, lying in the sun gives me the strange pleasure. But it's time for me to go. I understand. I have to. Show item. You're going there too? Nod. Everyone is going there. It's the road home after all. It was yesterday, or a few days ago, may maybe a year? I woke up in front of the house. I thought I was dreaming. I took a step and fell down. I fell straight on the roof. How did this happen? You're so ugly. I feel like puking. You barely resemble a human being. Once there was a beautiful clearing. Now everything's covered in water. And I've lost my gumboots. Do you have any gumboots on you? No, sorry. So... It's got a hand. Okay, there's nothing else I can do. So cut him loose. And tomorrow he'll be gone. Don't need to tell me twice. So it's the snail we've been hearing. Note. A. Bear trap, many nails, and planks. B. Some useful scrap metal. C. Gun parts. D. Ropes, tapes, antlers. E. Some tools. F. Scrap metal, an old compressor, clothes. G. Broken axe, empty bottles. H. Scrap metal, some fine quality clothing. Wait, so these are loot points. Bear trap. Nails, planks, useful scrap metal, gun parts. He doesn't know though. Antlers. D. Maybe we should go to D. The thing is, where am I now? Some tools on E. Leave the bread, leave the meat, and the mushrooms. Okay, we have to dig those up. Can I hit this? No. No, 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 not the mushrooms. Wait a second. None of my keys fit, okay. Um. Cut me loose. Yeah, but how? You know what, I'm gonna leave this guy to it, I think. Can I do something here? No. Alright. Let's move out again. We are here. Almost 15. Time is running by so fast. Cut me loose, he says. I don't know how, though. Body. The corpse of some unlucky bastard who has been tied to the tree. Ugh. Okay, do we go to the sawmill?
Let's see if we can find those elephants here. Can we get in somehow? Oh, there we go. Hello? Okay, stop that. How do I get there? Oh. Corpse. Oh boy. A human corpse looks stuffed. Someone has hung a wooden board from its neck. It reads assistant. Great. This stuff is pulsating too. Hello? Stop! Stop! What's happening? Something's gonna attack me. Something's gonna attack me. Meat! No! No, not you! Not you! Your lack of respect is appalling. Not you! Ignoring my request has a price. I'm gonna shoot you. Where are you? Show yourself. Know my generosity, you stray. I will let you take back everything you've taken without permission. All you need to do is give me some quality entertainment. Before that happens, however, you'll need to hand all your belongings to my assistant. What if I don't? I don't want you to spoil the fun with your cheap tricks. You sick bastard. What's it to you? Really? Everything? What if I try and go there just how I am? Well, okay then. Give me everything you got. What now? Excellent. What? Now, pick up the gift I left for you. deal is as follows. You will now provide me some quality entertainment by fighting my brothers. And in turn, I will entertain you. By playing on this violin I found recently. No, he, he, you did not. You did not kill the musician. Okay, there are so many. Why is there so many? You cannot play. I'm just saying, brother. I'm just saying, brother. Shut it. What now? What do you want? Do you want? Talk to me! Oh. Oh no. You bore me meat. Time to die. What? What do you mean? What? 
Wow, dude. How am I supposed to hit you? How am I supposed to hit you? I really don't know. I don't know how to hit this guy. What if I die here? I don't know how to kill him. Dude. I can talk to him. Why should I? Oh, he falls over sometimes. Dude. How? I don't get it. I hit him once. I really don't know. What? All my stuff is still up there. What? Oh my god, dude. How do I do that? I have nothing on me anymore. Okay, we're back. The thing is, it's getting late, I think. I'm gonna get my stuff back and see what time it is. I just hope I can get in still. Yes. 17. Great stuff. Wait, what if I take all my stuff now? Get back here. Where are you? Is he gone? Wait. Gift. I don't think I want to know what's inside. I don't want to look inside. The wolf's gift. Nice. Thanks. Wait, is that it? Violin. What? Since you're reading this, you probably came back for your things. Meat. Unfortunately, I cannot return them to you. Don't be sad, though. I've prepared a consolation prize for your not very successful performance. See you in the next life. Huh? A sword rifle? I mean, yeah. I'm gonna take that. It's broken. I have to go back. I won't even be able to do it in time. I'm gonna die. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Maybe I can get back in time, but I don't think so. Yeah, I know. It's so late. Just to get my stuff back. Don't. Don't. Oh my god, don't. There's so many traps. Thanks. I'm so dead. Why do I have to be here? Why do I have to be here? Oh my god! Gee, like, okay. Can we not? Oh 
my god, dude, I'm gonna die. Oh, move out of the way. How am I supposed to get around all this? Where am I even? Oh, great. I'm gonna come back to this. Hopefully. No. I'm so dead again. Stop that. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. Damn it, dude. Why? Oh, great. Now we have one of you again. Yeah, I, I can't see a thing you did. Stop that. Yeah, I'm dead. I am so dead. What is happening? Oh my god, move. Why am I in the water? I'm dead. And all of that just because this stupid wolf had to play with me. Christ, I hate this guy. I'm so glad I'm never seeing him again. I'm super mad right now. It's not even funny. Okay, let me get my stuff back. It's right around the corner. Where did I die? I really can't find my stuff. Here. My god. How annoying. Oh my god, can you like... Put this away? Come on. It's already nine. I'm running around like an idiot. Someone has been through my workshop. What? Oh yeah, I can see that. Who's been here? Not down here. I don't have any space. I don't know where to put all of this. Okay, I don't know what to do with that information that somebody's been here. But, Swamp Cottage. I'm gonna go there because the icon is kinda intriguing. Should have repaired my shovel. And upgraded the other one. Too late now. Man, I hate this wolf. If I won't see him again, I'm gonna be happy. I don't wanna see this guy ever again. Oh man. Oh god, what? No. And he spawned another one. What? Leave me alone! Stop! Shut up! 
Of course it's raining now. What else could there be? I am here now. I have to get inside though. How did I get in there? And the stupid chomper is in here probably. Oh no, he died. Repair? No. Hello? Someone is behind the door. Can you hear it? Uh oh. Shush. Hey you, what are you looking for here? You're not from that goddamn village, are you? Prove you're a good man. Fix our generator and I'll open the door. Well, okay then. There you go. Um, I'm not gonna switch it on. Can you let me in? Hello? Knock knock. Do I need to... Hello? Thank you for fixing our generator. You can come in. Hello? Elephants. <gasps> oh? That's the people we need to we needed to talk to. Elephants. Okay. Oh now I know why they're called elephants. The air is filled with a suffocating sweet odor of rot. Who are you? The woman is wearing a heavy, ruined coat. Her voice is suppressed by the cracked gas mask she's wearing. Can't you speak? Did someone take away your voice? Two children hide behind the woman. The younger one eyes me nervously, cowering in fear. The older one just stands there motionless. You're not from around here. I would have recognized you. We may keep to ourselves, but I know everyone here. I would never forget your mug. The younger child pierces me with his, with his eyes. The steamed visor of his gas mask betrays his rapid breath. Your gob looks like that because of this fiendish air, do you know? I bet you can't speak because you didn't keep your mouth shut when walking through the woods. The trees and plains are simply beautiful here, and the bushes bloom gener gorgeously this time of year, but don't let the charm of this land deceive you. The devil lurks between the trees, and he gets to you through your mouth and nose. The older child grasp on his mother, mother's hand tightens. He does not lift his gaze from one of the hut's walls. And you're just going to stand there? I know you want something, you leper demon. You're not getting anything from us. I don't trust you, leper gob. Do you hear me? I don't trust anyone who breathes this filthy air. The woman stares at me intensely through the cracked mask. Did you take my Martinek? Was it you who kidnapped him? Talk! No, that cannot be. The woman stares at the floor. Her greasy black hair drops down on her mask. It's impossible. Stupid child. He went out and never came back. He was on about how his granny will take him mushrooming. I have no idea where he... I told him he cannot go outside. I told him that he... That the devil will find him, take off his mask and take him away. I would look for him, but... She lowers her head even more, as if observing the dead fly stuck to her coat. You want my trust? Bring my Marzinek back. My stupid Marzinek. Find him and bring him home. Here's the key to his room. He was spending a lot of time there recently. Maybe you'll, a you'll be able to find something there that will lead you to him.
The youngest child hidden behind the woman's back until now finally finds the courage to make a small step towards me. One little bear ate a, s ate a little soup. A faint voice can be heard. Then another came and... Quiet! The woman smacks the boy in the back of his head. The punch is so hard the hood of his rubber cloak lands on his mask's visor. Not now, not in front of a stranger. You're just like these lunatics who roam around the woods searching for god knows what. There used to be more of them. Guess most of them starved to death. I remember when they appeared not far, from, not far from here. Must have been around two years ago. Around two dozen of them. They were led by these three weirdos dressed in old rags. They set up a camp in the marsh. There, between the trees. Wait, the three? They watched our house, stared right into my windows. The oddities. I thought they wanted to kidnap my children. Or harm them some other way. But when the night fell, I lost sight of them. There was no one there in the morning. Apart from these two here and Martinek, there's one more boy of mine, my precious darling, a blessed child. The woman rests her hand, hands on the oxygen tanks of the children stand, standing beside her. His love fills our tanks with clean air. For this, we have forever grateful for him. For the clean air, for the oxygen tanks, for these beautiful masks and the book in which the devil has revealed his true image along with his evil plan. My son took it away from the trees with his own hands and brought it here to us. Something exploded in the northeastern part of the swamp. Made the ground tremble. Devil knows what it was. I see you're curious. Investigate it if you have a death wish. I think it happened in the junkyard. Yeah, that was the rocket. We found it already. I remember this road. The woods devoured it about three years ago. It used to lead to our village. I walked it to school. The woman stares into the photo, hypnotized. The road home. My road home. Okay, that was... Quite a batch. Quite a... Handful. Explosion? Yeah, the lost son. The woman in the gas mask, probably the mother, has asked me to find her son. He went to see the granny about the mushrooms. The woman has given me the key to her son's room. Perhaps I'll be able to find something that will help me locate the kid. Uh... Okay. I met a family living inside the barricaded cottage. Woman and two kids. Gas mask. Okay. Keys. Room key. The thing is, where do I go with that? Do I have something on the map? Ruin. Old shed. Cottage. Where do I go with this? They went mushrooming, so it could be basically anywhere. To be completely honest with you. The only thing... I haven't really looked deeper into are the mushroom glades and the quarry. So I guess we're gonna start with the glades. We found the elephants. That is super interesting. Room key. Wait. So that's his room. Close. Mushroom. Doormat. Use it as a bed. Okay, so nothing else. So can I like leave some different way without going through this death trap here that you set up? Well then, let's go down. I don't know, maybe to the mushroom glade? Is this something we should be doing right now? I mean, we have to find the kid, because we need the oxygen tank from the uh, elephant. And that's what we're gonna do. We have to go down right. Okay, it stopped raining, finally. Mushroom glade. We are here, but I don't know where they should be. Oh, we found it. An intense sweet smell of mushrooms fills the air. Sweet, a 
good type of smell? Why did I- uh, I thought I can go, like, past it. Oh my god, dude. Examine. You didn't see sh no one from the village goes there. With guns. Where were they from? Since they relocate since the relocation, no one from What? I think I What in the night I saw them? Don't know what's happening. Wait, that's a house. How do I get there? Footprints. God, of course. I'm not healing just yet. Oh, I have to go this way. Damn it. Hello? Somebody? Everything inside the cottage is covered with mushrooms. The floor even... Though it looks like it's made of wood, it bends under my feet. A white colorless goo seeps from the ceiling and walls. Pliers. A colorless key. It feels soft to touch. There's a drawing of three flowers etched on the key ring. Who are you? Mushroom Granny. Okay. An old woman sits on a weathered rocking chair. Her sleep is deep and peaceful. A handful of ripe mushrooms grows out from beneath her thick hair. Try to pick a mushroom? Wake the lady. I'm gonna wake her. The old lady slowly opens her eyes. For a moment she stares into space with an absent gaze. Finally she becomes aware of my presence. Wait, you're not... Her empty eyes now take on a questioning, uh, questioning expression. I didn't expect any guests. She throws a nervous look at the door on her right, then gazes around the mushroom-infested house. She relaxes a bit. I suppose you won't tell me what you want. And you want something since you're standing here in front of me, right? Eat the old lady! What kind of option is that? Point the finger at the door. It's the door to my chamber. There's nothing that would interest you there. The old lady puffs her cigarette. Come back when you remember what is what it is you want from me. Show item. The old lady examines the photo. Her thoughts wander far away. I remember cars driving along this road. And then they closed it. They set up a fence and a gate, but both the fence and the gate got devoured by the woods eventually. I think that's how it was. Eat? I lean towards the old lady. My sweet... The sweet fragrance of mushrooms overwhelms me. I have to eat her. What are you doing? Leave me be! Go away! I bite into her body. The mushroom juice squirts onto my face and clothes. I feel the woman's feeble hands trying to push me away, but they're too weak and my hunger is too great. She kicks about only slightly when I bite into her face. I swallow one chunk of her sweet body after another, unable to stop myself from devouring her whole. Why? Why though? Okay, just a second. We have... Yeah. I got an achievement for it. 2.9% of people have this. Why? There's the boy. Hello? 
The boy is standing under a wall overgrown with enormous mushrooms. He's visibly scared. His lush mop of hair veils a restless wide open pair of eyes. The kid is whispering as if reciting something under his breath. The boy cowers and presses his back against the soft wall which starts to ooze a white goo. Kneel and extend your arm towards the boy. The boy is terrified. Slowly, he slumps down from the wall to the ground, curling into a ball. The murmur turns into a loud recitation. One little bear ate a bowl of soup, then another bear came, and there were two. Four little bears made a sudden pow. Along came the fifth and took a little bow. Put the boy on your back and lead him to his family. When I take the boy into my arms, he starts screaming, reciting the rhyme over and over. This is going to be a long journey. As we pass the remains of the old lady, the boy stops reciting. I feel his hands tightly clutching my coat. Granny? As I cross the cottage's threshold, I can hear him sobbing quietly. You brought back my child. The woman leans towards the boy. Marcin, where have you been? The boy stares at the ground in silence. Come here. Marcinek walks toward, towards the woman, nervously plucking at his old torn sweater. Look at you. Where's your mask? And the gas tank from your gracious brother? His love protects us. It fills our lungs with clean air. And this is how you thank him, young man? Your childish, childish behavior made him very, very angry. Now, we will all have to apologize to him for your stupidity. The two kids standing behind their mother flinch. The woman grabs the boy's hand and disappears in the hallway. After a while, she comes back with an oxygen tank. Take it. It's a tank for you. It will protect you from this devilish air, the devil's breath and other evil lurking in this foul place. It's the only thing I have and the only thing I can give you. The tank is a little rusty, but it seems intact. On the side, I can see some unintelligible scribblings. The valve opens with a little resistance, but I don't hear the hiss of air. It's empty. Do not open the valve without need. You will only waste the clean air. She pus pushes my hand away from the valve and closes it hastily. May it serve you well. Okay, so yeah, we dropped it. We don't have any more space. So, uh, I'm gonna- wait. What are these pills for? I don't know, but I'm gonna use those. Okay, that's for stamina. Okay, we're done with those elephants. It's 18. Oh no! Oh Jesus Christ, why is there more still? Did you set up new ones? I need to leave. I need to leave right now. It's so late. Again. Shouldn't we be here? Yeah. Good. Are you good still? You are. Let me turn you on. Uh. Oh, this is bad. Repair you. Wait, repair you and you. Upgrade. Oh, I need stones for this. Damn it. Upgrade you. Sturdy blade. There we go. Everything is in working order. Oh no. Get inside. Okay. We're gonna chill. What is that? What was that?
Of course. Stop. Okay, what do we have? Um, first off, turn you off. Do we have anything? I mean, I have a lot to sell you, to be honest. Okay, get rid of all that. Me, yeah, the assault rifle. I don't know if I should keep that or not. Put away the knife. Okay, now. Honestly, I don't think I should buy anything anymore. You have five more slots left. So let me see if I can... Wait, do I have... Oh yeah, I do have it right here. Some gas. Pour it all into the generator. This will keep us alive for another like two nights. If we're lucky. Okay, um... Uh, put the watch here. Wait a second. Uh, hold on. Right. No more room? Sell the fish as well. The batteries. Oh god. Right. Rotten mushrooms. Still don't know what these are for. To be honest. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade our workbench still. There's so much stuff in here. I don't even know what to do with all of it. Upgrade. Oh, I can! Yeah, let's do that then. Even more pliers. Great stuff. So. Storage. Wait. Note from the wolf. You've tricked me, meat. You've ignored my request and this action has its price. If you want to recover your things, come to the old sawmill. It can be found in the northern edge of the swamp. Don't think you can do whatever you like. It's my fucking forest. So, how long has this been in there? This has storage. This had storage this entire time. And nobody... Nobody told me. This has so much storage, man. What? Okay. I'm stupid. I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh my god, this has so much. Look at that. How did I never see that? How? Huh. That's some serious tunnel vision. No way. I can't believe it. I cannot believe that. Okay, let's relocate some stuff. gonna sell the sickle, the weapon parts as well, the pills, the trap, keep all that. Oh my god, that would have made life so much easier. 
How did I not notice that? My god, I'm so dumb. That would have made everything so much easier. I'm gonna keep all of this in here. Don't really care about it too much. Oh my god. How did I... I never saw this. Look at all of this. Oh my god, I'm so mad. Okay. Gonna keep the stones. Let's sort some stuff through, shall we? Just a little bit. Oxygen tank I'm gonna keep. No, don't throw it out. I need that. Down here, okay. Ah. Uh, okay, the boards I will drop off into the... What is that? I heard steps again. What is this? It scared me the second time. We had that already. Look at this. So much space. And we can craft right from here. Wow. Okay, man. Why didn't you tell me? Right. Is that everything? Do we need anything else? Sturdy blade, sturdy blade. I just need a lot of more a lot more rocks or stones. Alrighty. We got the tank, so we go back to the village to the one guy that requested the tank from us. Huh? Weird book. Severed head inside a helmet. I never looked into this uh, into this body. Really? What does it say? Quamta? Liar, I think. I never looked into what? There's no way, right? Okay then, I I I am um... I'm moving. I am moving to the to the guy. Tell him about the oxygen tank I have. Hello? Where are you? Ew, what is that? Okay. No, 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 no. Can't make me. Hello? Roots entwine the cottage's interior all the way to the ceiling. What about it? Bed. I can't see a thing. No. Don't drag the table. I can't see a thing in here. I'm serious. Wait, that was a rocking chair. Don't tell me the guy is gone. I need him. Or was he down here? Oh, here it is. What? What are you saying there? Wait a second, what? Oh, I can just go there now? Okay, you know what, we're going there. I just have to figure out where it was. The entrance to the underground.
Lottery ticket. Interesting. Basement hatch, is it this? Leading to the basement is blocked from the... What? Blocked from the inside. The marks on it suggest someone tried to break it open. But I can't. I know there is a second one. Food inventory. There is a second entrance, I know that. Oh, Jesus. The tree is gigantic. Its bark stays in constant motion. It swells up and collapses into itself as if breathing. I see human silhouettes growing out of the tree trunk. They're also moving, as if gesturing in slow motion. Dozens of mouths repeat their lines simultaneously, creating a uniform noisy murmur. Between the bows, I catch a man's gaze. It's fixed on me. His body, similarly to the other beings, seems to form an integral part of the tree. His limbs are gnarled and his face is grotesquely deformed. He's the only one to acknowledge my presence. His hand slowly raises, pointing to something on the horizon up the, above the roofs of the destroyed village. The man's lips are moving, but the ghastly murmur of the other voices drowns out his words. Kick the tree, hoping that the voices will go silent. Try to climb it. Look at the lips of the person talking to me. Even though the figure speaks sluggishly, it's, it is too high for me to read its lips properly. I think one of the word is radio. Climb? The bark is slimy and soft. It cre- It- Its creases move away from my shoes and hands. I feel the arms that protrude from the root tugging at my clothes. I'm not sure if they want to drag me down or pull me closer. I barely br break free from their grasp. Climbing up is out of the question. Kicking? I kick the tree trunk with, with all my strength, breaking a branch and sticking out from between the roots. It hurts! I hear a silent voice coming from beneath my feet. It's the face of a man who has grown into the root. He's completely covered in bark, his lips barely stick above the mud and his raised arms resemble branches. One of them is broken in the elbow, the stump leads a white gooey substance. Instead of seeping down, it slowly, fl slowly flows upwards, forming a new arm. I notice a little smiling face of a girl gazing at me from behind a cluster of sleeping heads. Oblivious to the chaos around her, she studies me with curiosity. Just next to her, a massive man calmly hums some melody. The lullaby drums drowns in the overwhelmingly noise surrounding the tree. I am barely able to make out any conversations and scrabbles, squabbles from the horrible noise of the tree boughs. You took everything from us. The shouts come from an old man. Only the tip of his head and one of his arms stick out from between the tightly crowded bodies. You stole it, thieves. May the dogs piss on your faces. Right next to him, a woman's head, wobbling from side to side, repeats, We were hungry. Another figure, hiding its face under an enormous root, lets out a calling, chilling shriek. Quiet. Fucking quiet. Leave us in peace. Shut up. He's interrupted by a man next to him, his intestines hanging out from his stomach. It was our common good. It was meant for all of us. You stole it. High above, at the top of the crown, two silhouettes hanging side by side from their hands and legs grown into the trunk are trying to bite each other's faces off. Great. That's the tree, tree we have to get rid of. If I would find... the entrance... To the thing. Ah, oh, there it is. Of course. Of course, it's in the very last corner again. So we had to, like, go here. Enter. Why can I not enter? It can be refilled with oxy oxygen. Okay, and how? 
Am I stupid? Was I looking for this entrance this entire time for nothing? Oh, I need the compressor done. Oh, I get it. I need the compressor done. I need to repair that, uh, that thing. But how? Show item. All sorts of things used to happen in our village. Sometimes a mug got punched for some silly thing. A faint smile appears on the man's face. But we always stick together. When the time came, we had to. I sometimes hear the echoes of those times in the tree's moans. That fuck monstrosity won't let me forget. So... How do I get... My compressor fixed. Okay, I think we have to kinda... Wait, drawing? Oh, yeah. I think we kinda have to go out again. And see what we can find. Since we've been at the glades, I think the quarry is a good place to start. Maybe Great Lake. I don't know about the radio tower if we are done there. The thing is I don't really want to go into the uh, quarry. I don't know what happens if this thing collapses and we are stuck in there. Let's just see if we can go to the radio tower and figure stuff out there. If we have the time for it, that is. What is that? The map is unreadable. I can see some kind of a drawing in the corner. Is it a combine? Oh. Torn page from a journal. The news was pure garbage, as always. I was only waiting for the sports digest. We won 2-1. Two to one. I've, I watched... Plus to... Plus to Ziove Pam... Pamiantric? I can't make that out. Before going to sleep. Boring life on leave. Uh, in one week I will walk into the woods. I will be... It will be my sixth time. This time we're going from the west. The trip will be eventually... Exceptionally long. We're taking one of the longest tunnels. It almost reaches to the last zone. Supposedly it's starting to give under the pressure of the roots. But the job is urgent, so fuck safety. I have no idea how any of this is kept under wraps. Are those poor swarm... Saps unaware? Of the fact that we're taking trips under their feet? Maybe they like it. Okay then. Primitive bed made out of dry, dry grass and an old sack. It was used recently. Okay, we are here. I think I have to go up. Sack. Camera. Old Zenit camera, okay. We saw this one in the beginning somewhere. I don't know who it belonged to though. Okay, let's go to the radio tower again. I feel like there's something we should check out. Even though I'm kind of scared of these uh, banshee babies. Okay, let's go in and try again. Okay. How are you still alive? Okay, I think we're closed off. We have to go now. No! I have to leave. I have to leave. Did I make it? Okay, dude. Thing is, I have to go back somehow. Stop. Stop. 
Okay, there's more. There's so much more. I can't see anything is the thing. The video always seems to be a little a little brighter. Oh god, there's so many. Why? Oh my god, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I cannot die here. Oh my god. Okay. That's actually fine. I have to go back in there though. This is so bad. Can I go there fast? Through the holes, maybe? Damn it, dude. I shouldn't. The th that's the thing, I shouldn't. I'm gonna get myself probably killed again. Worst case. So I'm gonna look for more stones to upgrade my shovels and then we have to call it for today. Anyways, damn it. I, I have to go back next time. This thing isn't guarded that heavily for nothing like you cannot convince me that there is nothing. Oh Well, we made some progress today Repair you Wait, what? Oh, no. Wait, what? Wait, I have scrap repair. Oh, I need boards of course. Okay, then. Give me some of those. Repair. You. Okay. Upgrade. You. Sharpened. You. Sharpened. Two out of four. Wait, I can do more? I need pipes. I don't have... S I don't have any, though. That's so bad. Okay, then. I can throw away the stones, then. Don't need those anymore. Boards, more stones. Okay, I'm gonna sell this, 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 all that. Not the pliers, though. All of that. Man. Why does everything have to be so difficult? I can't upgrade any further, so we're done with that too. Okay, so I can sell those pliers then. Okay. Last night for the day. And let's just hope everything will be just fine. Okay, we are done with this night. Finally. Man, it's... Uh, I hate to leave it like this. But I have to. I don't have any more time. 
I really hate to leave it like that. It's so bad. It's so bad. Uh, okay then. But you know... We made a lot of progress. We've been at the elephant's house. Uh, this stuff right here, the lost inventory, we will get in the next episode. Because I'm gonna go back. Uh, there has to be something. Like... Some... something. I don't know what. But it's gonna be good. Not enough room. Are you sure? What do I get from you? The tape? Do you have a pipe? Oh, you do. Okay then. Give me the pipe, and then... No, upgrade you. Sharpened light materials, better materials. Durability. Yeah. Boom. Nice. Okay. My god. So much... Scrap. Gone again. Hello? Why are you... Okay. Let me craft up some rags and then should be done for today. There was a lot of stress. But next time... Honestly... If I find a way to get the compressor part... Hold on, let me save just a quick moment. If I get the compressor part that I need for this thing right here... Then we should be good, right? We can fill up the oxygen tank, which we... Luckily, still have. If we find those parts... Then we should be good, because we can fill up the oxygen tank... And then go to the... Underwater passage, right? Under the village? Or in the village? Well... I guess that's, uh... It's gonna be a problem for future me. In the next episode. I hope to see you then, because the game is, I think, closing in very rapidly. As soon as we get those compressor parts, we should be about done with the game, if... If it's gonna end like I think it will. So, I hope you come back for the next one, and potentially, potentially the last one. And until then, goodbye.